So this is where we left off in the last video. We can add with mouse click bodies and circle shapes to the space. And uh, when they are below the screen, height below uh, negative 100, they get gets removed from the space to actually save processing power. And in this video I'm going to continue and add sprites to these uh, bodies. And the sprite will be the same we used in video number 8. Just this simple smiley shape or smiley sprite. So I already added here the loading. I'm going to uncomment this. So it loads the smile.png and it sets its anchor point to the center of the image. So instead of 0, 0 lower left, it now moves the anchor to the center. And the next thing I'm going to create, I'm going to create a patch. So pilot at graphics that batch. And I'm also going to create here a sprites list. Sprite equals an empty list. And here in the on mouse press window event when we create a new circle here i mean here circle body then a circle shape setting its elasticity its friction here the body's position so i'm going to here append to the sprites list a new sprites so sprites uh, dot, uh, dot append and uh, pilot dot sprite dot sprite so it will append a new sprite uh, to this list it will be a smile image smile image is this one the loaded image file and the position will be x equals um, circle body circle body that position dot x and the y position will be circle body that position dot y and also going to add to the batch so batch equals batch. Okay, let me see it. Let me see, let me test it. Mm, yes, we need to also draw the batch. So um, batch dot draw in the in the on draw method okay now we can append new sprites and of course now uh, the, a little bit harder part is actually update all these sprites position and rotation based on these uh, circle bodies position and rotation and this will be in the update method so for now I'm going to just comment these out and here I'm going to create a for loop for index and sprite in enumerate 
enumerate the sprites sprites list uh, so the sprite the current sprite uh, rotation current sprite rotation will be equal to the degrees of course we need to import degrees from the mat library so from mat import uh, degrees okay so the current sprite rotation will be equal to the negative uh, space that bodies at index that angle angle and now we we have the rotation now set the spri current sprite uh, position position will be equal to the space but bodies space that bodies at index at index that position position okay let me see it okay now our sprites uh, position and rotation are are updated based on the body's position and rotation but now we have the same problem we had uh, before that we are just keep adding new bodies shapes and uh, also sprites to the to the application and they never get removed although they are below the screen height but they are still uh, being drawn uh, and uh, still being calculated their position and all these uh, things so we need to remove them from the from the space and also from the sprites list when they get below screen height so for that here i'm going to create an inner for loop uh, yeah okay so for shape in uh, space that shapes so I'm going to ask if the current shape that body that position position uh, that y so the current body's y position let's test it now with on uh, 100 so it's below 100 then we are going to remove from the sprite sprites list remove the current sprite and from the space uh, space that remove the current shape shape uh, body and the shape itself okay let me test it so about here is the 100 that imaginary line so about here it is so let me test it when i create here and it gets removed as you see when it reaches this height so now we can add multiple sprites and bodies and shapes and the list gets always updated and now let's 
let's just change this 100 to negative 100 so they get removed when they are negative 100 below the screen okay 